everyone. Cameron here with today's Kid Life Kids Moment. Today, we are in week eight of our Being a Part of Church series. Our passage today is Stephen is Killed, found in Acts chapter 7, verses 54 through 60. Our summary verse is Acts chapter 7, verses 59 and 60. And it says this, While the members of the Sanhedrin were throwing stones at Stephen, he prayed. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, he said. Then he fell on his knees. He cried out, Lord, don't hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Our Bible point today is God forgives us when we hurt him, so we forgive others when they hurt us. And in our story today, Stephen has been arrested and he's being put on trial in front of the Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin are like the Jewish religious elders uh, who oversee the temple. And while on trial, Stephen puts in perspective the whole of Jewish history and how Jesus fits into it. And he calls the Sanhedrin out by telling them that they did not believe Jesus and that they should repent and believe Jesus. The Sanhedrin, though, they don't want to hear it. They stop listening, and they refuse to believe what Stephen is saying. And so they drag him out of the temple and out of the town so that they can execute him, so that they can kill him. Now, our Bible point today, it has to deal with forgiveness. And we see in verse 60, when Stephen, just before he dies, he calls out to God and says, don't hold this sin against them. See, even as Stephen is being hurt, he is forgiving those who are hurting him. Now, forgiveness, it means letting go of our anger and our hurt. It doesn't necessarily mean reconciliation or a healing or a restoring of a relationship or a friendship. But forgiveness, it does mean you give up trying to take revenge or holding a person's actions against them. Now, as Christians, and especially as God's church, we are called to forgive others and seek reconciliation because of God. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and tender to one another, forgiving one another just as God forgave you because of what Jesus Christ has done. When we sin, we hurt God. And yet, even though we hurt God with our sin, God forgives us. He forgives us because of what Christ has done. This is why we should forgive others, because God has forgiven us. Now, it's not always easy to forgive others. In fact, most of the time, it's really hard. But this is what God calls us to. He wants us to forgive because he forgave us. So may you know that God has forgiven you when you hurt him with your sin. And may you seek to forgive others when they hurt you. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day.